so it's really bright out. Today I am going to go to Shindangdong Tteokbokki town with my friend Hiromi and her boyfriend. He's super tall. See, not all Asians are short like me. Um, anyway, I am going to go to Tteokbokki town. Tteokbokki is actually a Korean, I wouldn't say traditional dish, but it's more like a dish that a lot of kids grow up with. Um, basically, they, they put rice cake and a lot of spice in it, but not spice. Um, what is it? What is it? Um, pepper paste and sometimes they even put ramen and a lot of different stuff so when I get there I'll show you how it looks but we're going to go eat it and they actually have a road filled with shops dedicated to that dish so I'm going to show you right now right here it says Shindangdong Tteokbokki town and starting from this store this restaurant these are all Tteokbokki places one that we're going to go to is called Mabongnim Tteokbokki Mabungnim is the name of this lady who I guess started this restaurant. So I'm, a, I'm assuming that this has been around for quite some time. And those are the list of um, TV shows that this restaurant was featured in. Oh, I just hit myself on a car. Here is the waiting line. And because this is a very popular tourist place, you'll see that sometimes they'll have like signs in different languages. And that's the inside. It's not really fancy, but that's how tteokbokki restaurants usually are. So as you can see, this is the way this restaurant is set up. It's not very a fancy restaurant. So I don't want you guys to get an idea that Korean restaurants are not fancy. There are plenty of um, fancy restaurants, but this is just the way that you know this food is typically served. Here's our tteokbokki. As you can see, it's a big pot, and inside um, there's rice cake. They also put jolmyeon. Anyway, there are three eggs because there are three people and then three um, dumplings because there are three people and then ramen there and then they put their special sauce and a whole bunch of vegetables. So we're going to wait for this to cook and once it's cooked, it's going to look super red. So the stove is still on, but this is basically how it looks when it's cooked. Well, it's kind of messy because we actually portioned and started eating, but it's super good. Today guys, we're going to visit this store called Mong Mong Toy Ki Ring. Um, basically, it's like a little vintage store and they also sell like little accessories um, for you to make key rings with. And it's a very, very, very small store located in the middle of nowhere. But this is how it looks from outside. It's super adorable, so I'm going to go ask if I can take pictures and then I'm going to take you guys inside. Here it tells you that, you know, they sell used toys. They're not thrown away toys, but some toys that they were loved before. Um, and then here, they have the bear toy key ring. And then Playmobil, the yellow poster is telling you Playmobil. And then the third one right here is telling you about the superheroes. And the next one, Lego bracelet. The next one is telling you um, the opening hours. I need to correct myself. It's not a vintage toy store. Um, they basically have collectible figures and toy accessories. Actually, they have more stores like this around Korea. They're just a little further away, so I cannot get to all those places. Maybe next year when I come back, I'll go to those places. Jeroma. Hi. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's amazing. It's like totally packed with so many adorable little toys. It's a little heaven. The prices are actually posted on the figure itself. Some of them are a little overpriced, but it's, you know, it can't be helped when they're imported from overseas. For example, that little minion. You see? They're sold for $5.50 here. Look at all these adorable little toys. Oh my gosh, I'm totally going to take a closer look. So some items are not for sale. The ones that are here are not for sale, which is really sad because Right there, do you see that handsome guy holding a basketball? That one is Rukawa Kaede and he's my first husband. My first crush ever, so I would love to bring him home, but he, they're not selling him. Oh, uh, bummer! In this corner, they have little beads, and basically you can select any beads you like, and they also have little charms here, which continues all the way over there, and you can actually make your own bracelet or a key ring. Which is why they are called Mong Mong Toy Key Ring. They also sell some blind boxes here, such as free mats. Well, I guess these are called Pop O or Po Po Bay. Oh, I, I don't even know how to read it, but it's spelled P O P O P E.
뭘까요? 우리 안 보도 있어. 아! 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 아